Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel and in this video, we are going to discuss about tent and tolerance in Kubernetes. Also, we will explore some use case where tents and tolerance can be used. So let's get started. So let's take an example before we conclude the definition. So let's have a, you have a three application, application one, application two and application three, as well as you have a three node, node one, node two, node three, have a different size. Node one have a small size. You let's take an example, eight GB of RAM and two core CPU. Node two is a medium size where you have a 16 GB RAM and eight core. And node three is a large VM size where you have a 48 GB RAM and 32 core. Now you have a three different application and you want whenever application one deploy, it should be goes to the node one. Whenever you deploy application two, it should go to the node two. And whenever you deploy application three, having a multiple microservices, uh, it's a large application. So it will always go to the node three. This is a use case number one. Let's talk about the use case number two. You have a web application that contain the multiple microservices. And one of the microservices is database. Now you want a dedicated node for the database. So whenever you deploy a database node, it always go to the node two. And the other application, other microservices is, uh, will go to the node one. So fulfill this type of requirement, you need to use tent and tolerance. Now tent is always applied to the node and tolerance you need to configure on a pod side. So now let's understand the definition of tent and tolerance. So tent and tolerance are used in a Kubernetes to control which node can be run which pod. Okay. It means node two, I need to deploy only database pod. And a tent is a label. So here you can see, so a tent is a key value pair. So right now the key is app and the value is database. So a tent is a label that is applied to a, the node and it tells a Kubernetes that certain pod should not be scheduled on that node. It means that let's say if, if you try to deploy a web application pod, uh, it will not allow or the Kubernetes not scheduled in node two. On other end, a tolerance is a way to tell the Kubernetes that a pod can be scheduled on a node even if the node has a tent and that will be normally prevent it from being scheduled there. This is all about the tent and tolerance. So tents again, it's a key value pair. So here app equal to small, app equal to medium, app equal to large. So here I have three tents defined. Now let's jump into the demo so you will get clear idea. So. Uh, let me open the my Kubernetes cluster AKS demo and here I have a two node agent pool and node two. So let's quickly go to the agent pool and here you can see in the node section there is no tents defined similar in a node two. So no ten tents none. Now let's define the tents. So what I will do. I will define the 10. So let me copy the script, open the terminal and kubectl. First, let's get a node name. Okay, I have a two node, agent pool and node two. Let's give the name. So I will give the name agent pool. Let me give the name app equal to small and uh, in a node two I will give app equal to large Okay, so now let's validate. 
so let me refresh here you can see app no schedule okay if you want to check go to the yaml file again and type tens so here you can see tens key app value is equal to large and effect is no schedule okay this is node 2 okay now we are going to deploy pod so let's first create a pod having a tolerance value equal to small so let me open my lens so uh, as we discuss tens is applied on a node side and tolerance is applied in a pod side so here tolerance key app operator equal and value equal to small so we have defined a small tent in a agent pool side it means that this pod will create on a agent pool so let's quickly check so let me click on create and give it to the overview and in the overview section you can see the static web pod is created on a agent pool node okay you can also validate using kubectl command So the static web pod is created on an agent pool. Now I am going to create one more pod and here I will put the value large. So the large means it the pod will create on a node 2. So let's quickly check. So here you can see pod large it is on a node 2 okay so this is all about the tent and tolerance now let's say when you define a tent in a node okay and if i will give some other value let's take example app equal let's take a random value mid and there is no specific pod having a mid tent the pod will go in a pending state so let's quickly check so see here okay let me give change the name create and here you can see the static web pod mid in a pending state so if you if you check the error so the two nodes are available one node had a tent app equal to large and one node had a tent app equal to small so there is no node having a mid lip tent and that's why the pods are in a pending state okay now here there is one more concept let me explain so go to terminal again and let me first remove the tent so let me unten okay now during the tent we have used no schedule there is one more property called no execute so if you apply the tent using no execute it will immediately terminate all the existing pod and try to find the tolerance let's see so let me quickly apply the first one and second one this one no execute so 
so now you can see go to lens so all the existing pores are now terminated and it's in the pending state okay so this is all about tent and tolerance so please like share and subscribe to my channel and if you have any doubt please use the comment box thank you very much see you in the next video